Hi, welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. The last pro um, tutorial we looked at um, polymorphism um, method overloading. And so it was one method and we, de we defined it a good few times with different parameters or arguments we want to call them. And so they behave differently with different code inside them. So what we're going to look at is inheritance. Now, C++ is an object oriented language and it can inherit other classes and the way to do that is with you take source file like menu source file and in the menu source file we've included the menu header file menu dot h and we've done include with the pound sign or the hash sign whatever it's called um, in double quotes because this is a string it's we're passing a string with the name of the file and the extension and so we do the same thing when we want to inherit a class so so we've got the menu class and let's say we want to inherit the input class so what we can do is we can do the the hash sign include the double quotes the name of the class which is input.h we always um, include the header file we don't include the, the source file, the CPP and so so that's something that, that I, I want to make clear because you end up with errors and different things like that so so try to remember that, that the header file .h is what you include um, in um, C++ you never include the CPP file and so it's called input dot h and so that's us included the file so we can save it compile it just to see if it's if it's any errors inside it but I don't think it is I think it's just going to compile perfect everything seems okay so far yeah and it says here will complete for project begin we call the project begin member and so so we've not inherited the menu the menu class is not inherited it has because I've already got this here it is inherited sorry about that um, I've done that before and so sorry about that right we've imported the the file and we've got menu class and the way to do it is a, a colon, not a semicolon, but a, a whole one. It's, it's a colon. This is a semicolon. I know that you know what it is. And this is a colon. So it's two dots, not a comma with a dot above it. So you use that after you name the class, class and menu class. And we're going to inherit another class. Um, and so we use a colon and a space just to separate it. And it's called the name of the class is called input and if we go to inside input we'll see that's a source file inside the header file we'll see the name of the class the class is called input so whatever this is called this, this is the name we're going to use and so if we go to the header file of menu all we need to do is type in input and it will access input because we've already given it the path of this file to access and if this file wasn't in the same directory or folder um, as a project, we would actually do whatever it was to, to tell um, the compiler where to find this file, and it would find it. Um, you would have, because this is Windows, you would have double um, backspace. You can also put the forward space and it would just be one. But we're not going to go into that just now. Later on we'll go into it when we're adding like, pictures and things like that. But we don't need to do that because it's in the same path. So we just need to, because we're in this path, we just need to um, give the name of the, the file. And so if we save it and compile, it should be okay. Takes its time. You 
see here. Full complete for project and we named the project begin. So so how do we know that we've inherited this 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 class? Well we should be able to we should be able to access public and um, we shouldn't be able to access private but we should be able to access protected and we'll go into protected. I'm just going to show you that we'll be able to see all these. Um, you won't be able to inherit the constructors and deconstructors, though you can choose what constructor, if we've overloaded the constructor, we can choose what constructor to 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 access with the inheritance. And so if I come back here, go back to this one here. So now we've inherited, we want to find all we want to find out if if we access all those methods and the best way to do it is menu oops double this and let's see what pops up I don't think I don't know if I saved it right we've got input 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 address input name input yeah so so we do have it um, what you can see is all the input is from an input class so we can access them from this class, though it's not in this class, it's inherited. Um, but if we made them all private, we wouldn't be able to access them. And so this is, all these are pa uh, public, so we can access them. But if we, if, what if we done this in private? Save. Compile. Now we've got a problem with these because it's private, and it's telling you it's because it's private. There's a pro. Oh, sorry. They would have to make the constructor public. That's silly. The constructor's got to be seen when you make an instance of the class. So what we'll do is underneath this we'll go private. Right. So these are private, but these are public. So you won't if. If your constructors and deconstructors are private, you won't be able to create an object, an instance of that class, because to create an instance, you need the constructor to be open to everyone so that they can make an object. And if you make it private, then no one will be able to see it or be able to use it. And so what we'll do is we'll save the change, compile. That's fine. So, so now if we come here, because these are private, private, won't be able to see these, and that's what I want to show you. So if we go back down to where we were, this is in the, the main header. We'll go to the source file, and if we go menu, colon, colon, and what we can see is um, Eclipse shows you the names. But this here is saying that you don't have access to it because it's private. So we wouldn't be able to access them. And that's the difference between private and public. And what I'll show you is protected. Protected is is not public to everyone. Um, not everyone can access it. And um, protected is a, a derived class and menu is a derived class of the base class which is input. So menu inherits input. So so input is a superclass, it's also the base class, and menu is a subclass, but it's also the derived class. And C++, I think they talk about derived and base class. So there's that many different words for the same things, and it just confuses people. So so this is a base class, and that this is the derived class. So if we make um, anything protected, um, and the, the the base class, the input class, nobody will be able to see it outside the class apart from the, the derived class, the, the class that inherits this class. And I'll show you what I mean. And so if we change header, so if we change, if we change this to protected instead of public, Now these are protected and 
if, if I save compile compile always takes it ages and so it's happy that's that's completed now if we go back to the menu and the source file and in the same place we'll go menu hold on and we'll see what's there and what you can see is input's not it's not um, it's not lead anymore it's yellow because it's protected and that means we can access it from the menu and so that's what protected us but if if I if I try to access um, those from a different class that didn't inherit input, I wouldn't have access to them. It would be like trying to access a private member. So that's what protected this. And so what we're going to do is is we're going to use those classes um, with I am from this will when we go to main. So main will be able to run, if I take this away, if I go to menu, dot, and you can see now we've got from main, um, all main knows is accessing the menu class, but it's got all these added ones from the inherited class. And so what we can do is, is get, let me have a wee look at menu. Menu, see what classes we've got. So we've got print name, print address, and print age. Right. So if we go back to main and we do print print name and semicolon. So this is going to ask for us to print name. And if I run the program. So it's compiled and just run the program. Save changes. And you see it's printed out what is your name. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get name, get the input. Um, we're, we're going to print out, we're going to get the name from the user. And let's get rid of this. Okay, we've got an error here because we never took away. We were using this here to see all the methods, but I forgot to take it away. It's not part of the program. I was just showing you. Take that away, save it, and and that will be held. And that's okay. Okay, so we'll go back to main, and we'll be able to. We're going to print. We're going to print out name. Then we're going to. What we're going to do is menu dot um, input name, and so what that will do that will get the prompt to use that will get the name from the user. So when that's on, I'll type in my name. It will accept it, and this method will return it. So because it will return it, I can go print it to screen. So C out, um, and I'll put a space between it, just a single space, and I will put an end right here. So what it's going to do, at the end of, it's going to say what is your name, I type in Charles and it's going to say Charles, um, I think that's what's going to happen, let's see. Compile something there's something wrong here hi there's a couple of things I've done is that I've changed the public I've, well, I'm going to change this to public right, we're going to go into protected later um, obviously where I was doing it was wrong and so it was thrown in error and I went to yeah for its sake I forgot to put public when we were saying like, like class menu derives input, the default is private, and so private then we don't get access to it. So, so change it to public, and what you're saying is this 
this base class is going to be public to this this um, um, derived class. And so if I save and run the program, yeah, everything's good. You can see that it's all complete. Run the program, save changes. It's actually going to compile it again. <laughs> Sorry. This is what wastes a lot of time. Right, so what is your name? And so if I type in Charles, hit enter, and I'll type Charles. That's where we've done the program. So we'll go back to main. Main's file. So that's what we've, we've done, and we've put a space in. So what we can do here is, okay, you call your self and then you say this and we need to put like double quotes in here Save it, run, compile the program. Run the program. And this. Okay, so, so what is your name? Charles. And it didn't, I don't think I saved it. Yeah, there's an error here. See, Alt, it's good. This is good. That's good. And this is good. Oh, NTL. Yeah, another typo. Right, so if I save and compile, compile what had an error on it last time, I didn't notice. Okay, it's going to work this time. And so, run the program. Type Charles. Okay, you call yourself Charles. What kind of name is that? And so, that's what we have done there is we've the menu class is inherited the input class and all of its members. And because made it public, it's got access to every single one of them. And so we're, we're able to just make an instance of the menu class, just one instance, and we're able to access the members of menu class plus the mem members of input class. And so the next tutorial we're going to go into protected. So, so again, thank you for your time. And oh, that's helped at least one person. Then I'm I'm happy because that's what this is all about. Right, thank you.